And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some three sisters. We have like a theme deck here. We got all Freljord. We have a deck that's built around um, the three sisters. We got Lissandra, Ash, and Sejuani, two copies of each of them. And we, we're going to have some Frozen Thrall stuff to help out Lissandra. We got a good amount of Frostbite to help out Ash. And, you know, maybe we'll do some damage to them to kind of help level up Sejuani. It's going to be difficult to try to level up all of them. But we got um, all three of them in here. Plus, we got three copies of the three sisters. Uh, we even have one copy of Ancestral Boon, just because this kind of looks like a card that should go with three sister kind of deck. <laughs> so we got one of those in here. Um, and then, we, you know, we just have just kind of some a, a variety of good Frelio cards in here. Feel the Rush, be able to bring in a couple of our sisters and that's kind of about it you know so we'll kind of see how it does we got a theme deck here it's meme tier monday so perfect it's, you know this isn't like the best deck but it's going to be a lot of fun so we got freljord and three different champions here we go all right playing against Natalia. cool okay we're going to Mulligan that, mulligan that. I'm going to keep three sisters. Mostly because that's the name of our deck. I don't know if like that's a card that we need to have in our opener or anything, but it's the name of our deck. So I think that's kind of like a rule here, is I can't mulligan the card three sisters. Unless there's like multiple of them. Whoa, somebody's like big on win in the predictions. I'm just going to pass. I know I could Ice Veil Archer here, but I am holding Avalanche. Let's just kind of pass and see what they do. I can pass again. Because they waste the same amount of mana as I do. They, they, yes, they have a 2-1 in play, but it's just a 2-1. Okay. So Avalanche doesn't kill that. And of course, I want to go this way because I would, you know, like if they want to trade three three for three one, if I if you frostbite the three three, then they just block with the two one, and that's exactly what they want you to do. Concurrent timelines. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Up there in the mountains. I got our two Sejuani's. Yeah, I could definitely see this being Kahiri. Because the, the buff that Kahiri gets is permanent, so it would... So the buff will go on something else. All right, Draclorn. Get the countdown started. Because as we all know, it's the final countdown. Sure, boss. <clears throat> Safety first. Don't touch that. Yeah, the art for Draclorn is really good. I will find a future for Ikathia. That is really good. All right, they're getting some good three drops. Nandroid, Iron Blister, so those are great three drops. So I know I could go Fury of the North. I'm going to go Flash Free so I still have five mana. And because I want to be able to play another Draclorn this turn. I just don't want to take all that damage. Ow, ow, ow. 
<laughs> All right, so my plan, of course, is Sejuani. An 8-3 elusive quick attack challenger. That seems kind of silly. I'm going to kill that. that was, that's why the Frozen Thrall was a good draw right there. Gave me time to play Sejuani. What 6 plus cost spell did they play? Oh, they played the Spirit Fire. Right. Yeah, they are hitting some really good concurrent timeline cards. All three so far have been awesome. Okay, that one not as much. So wait, it keeps the quick attack? Oh, wait, the the Volition says it gets plus four plus zero and quick attack if it has that, okay. I don't have the I don't have room for more frozen th frozen thralls. Don't have any more room. Uh, I don't have room for that either. These frozen thralls. Okay, I'll just take the eight eight. 8-8 Overwhelms are not easy to deal with. <laughs> nice, there you go. Good job. Nathan here says just made the Shen Jarvan deck in five and or five and one in low diamond so far. That's awesome, good job. Okay, so the Porobot, whatever keyword you have with the Porobot goes on to the next thing also. That's also pretty cool. So the concurrent timelines is only once a turn, of course. I'm not gonna get another one. Okay. So that'll come back as a zero five. Quick attack. Of two zero fives. Let's take this outside. Ride onward. Just been patient. I haven't really had any need to cover anything up or need to really do very much of this stuff. Yeah, like, these Freljord cards are awesome. Like, my opponent's trying to, like, win by attacking, and against decks that win by attacking, all these Freljord Frostbite cards are just amazing against. Alright, so I'm going to just avalanche away the Sejuani. Sorry, Sejuani. But it'll kill all three of their things. <clears throat> Probably worth it. I could Fury the North, but I'd rather just hold on to the other Sejuani. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. When you have too many 8-8s. Here, you can just kill this thing. You think I should have just threw away two things blocking just so I could play Field of Rush? Most likely I'm not even playing the Field of Rush. 
but I, I kept it so that, like if for some reason they have like weird overwhelm I don't know like weird overwhelm cards or something yeah like I wanted to I mean I guess I still could have had all that stuff available I could have just thrown away my 3-3 and a 4-5 and then cast Field of Rush yeah absolutely you can play Gangplank and Azir together okay so production Production Surge, 10 mana, summon random tur turrets that cost 10 mana. Alright, they got an 8 want eight mana and a 2 mana. That's a cool card. Approach, savage. Do you need help? Okay. So block that. Yeah, there, there's a video there for Azir's fortune, for Misfortune Azir. And you can kind of do that, basically that same kind of deck, just, you know, play Gangplank instead of Misfortune, like you're talking about. That, that could definitely work. Hold back the darkness. Your fate was written. I don't think they can stay alive. That will not help. Just a whole bunch of 8-8 overwhelms. Sometimes that just gets there. The Witcher's Claw triumphs. Good job, Dreklorn. Okay, we're going... Um, Freljord Mirror, they're going the Watcher. And they got Ionia. Alright, we're going to try to Frozen Thrall, and we're going to try to have... We need to find Dreklorn to go along with these frozen thralls and try to get some fast 8-8s eight with those. That's my plan. What's my favorite champion? Man, there's so many champions I like. I don't, know, I don't have like a one specific favorite. I like a lot of like the support champions. Your Shen, Taric, Lulu, that kind of stuff. I usually do really well with Demacia decks. That's that's like the region that I do the best with. Um, so like the Jarvan Shen deck, we've played some recently, been doing really well with Jarvan Shen. All right, so we haven't found Draklorn to help these things out. They're, you know, like the Ionia version usually plays like a whole bunch of Mina Swiftfoot. So like even if I get like a bunch of 8-8s, they can Mina Swiftfoot and bounce them. But that's why we need like the Draklorn to get the 8-8s like right now, way before a Swiftfoot. All right, this ancestral this ancestral boon kind of does nothing. Need the target. I don't know. Should I just play it, or should we wait till we're enlightened to play it? But if by the time we're enlightened, the game's over. They they win, right? We don't beat Mina Swiftfoot in a long game, and watch. You know, like they're going to be a better watcher deck and everything. So I think if I'm going to play this. Ancestral Boon. I might as well just play it now. Alright, chat saying to wait. Alright, chat saying to wait on it. Yeah, if we wait, like, we're never gonna play it. I think, I think we're just supposed to play it now. I want to cast that card one time in my life. <laughs> At least. They're using all these stun cards on just a 5 power thing when I'm sitting with these potential 8 power things coming. 
Yeah, we got a bigger ash now. Really, Draclorn Inquisitor? Now you show up? Show me a target. Because they're just going to swift foot put these back in my hand, and I kind of lose from that. Hmm. And then I guess we go. We go feel the rush. Maybe they don't have swift foot. I don't know. Yeah, they could have just blocked in homecoming. Because I wouldn't want to play even like you can think, OK, if I didn't play this other uh, one drop again, then I would have the four spots. I could be playing field of rush right now. But you don't want to play field of rush first and then they the mean a swift foot afterwards. And you just, you know, don't have 10 tens anymore. And plus, remember, they're a deny deck, right? Like, they're Ionia. They're going to have denies. But yeah, that's my plan, is wait for them to play Mina first before Field of Rush. Alright, now no deny. So with no deny... I say bye to the 8-8. Play this card. this my aim is true so we'll see they've already played a whole bunch of stun cards we'll see how many more stun cards like they played a bunch of stun cards in homecomings we'll see how many more they got I'm just going for lethal with them not being able to block all right there we go just got the surprise win. GG's. The Winter's Claw triumphs. What do we got? Ooh, we got all Demacia. We got Elites. The three sisters versus the Elites. This is this is a matchup right here. Alright, so the champion spells in tomb. <laughs> so many cards to go along with just this one. Let's just keep one of each champion and try again. I must reach the king. Keep moving. These old eyes still see far and clear. Approaching the battlefront. Hmm. That's a tough elite. For the the tattered banner. The young prince will be found. I will bury the world in ice. I just want to get this frozen thrall going. I do have the brittle steel. I can use. If you've hurt him, you won't leave a scrap. Ready the torches. Now an avalanche will kill all three of their things. Light the signal fires. Plans within plans. Make way. Today 
Uh, I got really punished. I got really punished. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Ooh. Draclorn's cool. A symbol worth fighting for. Man, can I get more punished? Probably not. Nothing escapes my one. For Bavel. Here, dog. Fall to our standard. Look out for Reavers. <clears throat> okay. We got our champion still. Our other champions besides Lissandra. That we're going to be playing. Let's start with... Sejuani on the 4-1 challenger. Yeah, cause we're gonna, so we're going to play Draclor next turn. Bow to no one. I really should have played this avalanche a while ago and gotten the three for one with the avalanche. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, re I really need to play that. Like that turn four, I guess. I attacked with the Lissandra. I need to just cast avalanche that turn. Wow. Stand with me, yeah, that's pretty nice. No quarter. Okay, we're a little bit far behind. We're a little bit behind. Man, I, I need to play Dracmore Inquisitor, but I also have to kill this Jarvan. Because if I if I just play Inquisitor, they the Jarvan kill stuff, and I, I yeah, I just, so I can't even do that. But like Inquisitor would be perfect here, where like Inquisitor plus like then I'd have the the three spell mana that I'd say for next turn, then I'd have Field the Rush the next turn. I probably just should not have... Yeah, like, I have to kill Jarvan. They didn't just give that challenge? I mean, I guess that it's going to have a challenger with that thing. Or not. So those are all lethal attackers. Good card. Leave no survivors. Permit. No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, not dead yet. I thought that was going to be um, Sharp Sight. You know, that's what I say, no. Not dead yet. Okay, and then yeah, so I can save. I can either play another Draclorn or save spell mana for Feel the Rush. We should probably play the other. I think I'm supposed to attack with this. All right, stop. Attack, attack. She wills it. Over 
attack. Because, okay, yeah, this, this Sejuani is nowhere near leveling up, but oh well. Frostbite that thing. So if I save... Wow. What is that? We know that card in hand is definitely a spell. That looks like a weird block, though. If I save... I guess I'm not I'm not gonna have mana for Field of Rush next turn anyway, because yeah, because I went so yeah, we're saving Ash. A good thing about saving Ash is that if we draw another Ash right here, it's gonna be the Flash Freeze. The champion spell is a very useful champion spell to have. Oh right, we'll, we we knew we were drawing Crystal Arrow. There's also that. Yes, yeah, so that makes sense of why they blocked that, because they were going to be dead. I guess that's a good reason, too. They could have had... Oh, no, their 05 couldn't block. Right, so yeah, never mind. So yeah, I just... Yeah, there we go. Alright, so three sisters, three and O. Oh. Demacia will not prevail. Not in the land of Avarosa. Ooh, this is a deck that wants to attack. This is the best deck we face so far, but still... Frostbite can be good. Um, Avalanche can be good depending on their hand. If they have River Shaper hand, it's nice. Harsh Winds is awesome, but it's just so expensive. Okay, decent hand. Nothing too flashy, but decent. We swim within the flows of magic. Mm, that's not what I wanted to see. Sweep them away. Get a free spell. <laughs> this dog's just rolling around. <laughs> <laughs> that guys are fun. All the world on one arrow. Oh, uh, our rank we're, we're <laughs> What was that? Oh, I think she got she got a nail caught in on the in the carpet for a second. Two worlds, one balance. We are somewhere in diamond rank for our rank. We're currently, today's Meme Tier Monday, where these are not ranked games today. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Winter, take you! I find them unworthy. Engulf them. Let's protect their own. Keeper, our lands need us. I sense an imbalance. Well, we got all their important threats. Steady my hand. Nature blesses her followers. I'll protect the villages. Proposed is the worst case scenario, but I still, you know, I have the elixir of iron for that. Wow, we got them. Send them packing. Everything has zero power. They're they're done. The war is over. They said no, thank you. Okay, so it's meme tier Monday, but still we're four and zero in normal. Whenever we do that, we always play the fifth game in ranked. So we are taking. Uh, the Three Sisters deck over to ranked. Surprising we're doing so well with this, but we are playing against a lot of decks like Demacia decks that are trying to win by combat. Now this is another deck that's trying to win by combat, but they are also winning with elusives, and that's going to make our life more difficult. Um, Harsh Winds is definitely going to go. Usually I'd mulligan Three Sisters. 
in this matchup right here, but that's the name of the deck. We can't mulligan it. We can't we can't let it let our deck down. Alright, prediction started. Alright, Frozen Thrall. You're gonna take a little bit of time. Hmm. Let's not play this. I would like to have the Troll Chant to go along with the Lissandra next turn, but I, it's, you know, need to get these down as early as possible. Hopefully find a Draklorn. Draklorn Inquisitor. More frozen thralls. Alright, Draklorn. Alright, no Draklorn. Here comes down Twisted Fate. I want them to play Twisted Fate, then we play Avalanche. They're just going with the pick a card. There's Twisted Fate. We played one. Eyes open. It's always cold in the Frill Yard. Tell him, Blue Minion. Now they get to reset their hand, they're still gonna have eight cards next turn or whatever, seven cards. <laughs> so it's not like, it's like, yay, we got a, you know, we got like a three for one, but the, you know, pick a card, they get to draw everything again. Yep, yep, yep. Man, if only we could have found a Draklorn. Think of like that, this curve, and then if we just slam Draklorn here, then, you know, get eight, eight each one of the next three turns. What they get rid of? Get excited. So that get excited most likely was fleeting. A chill in the air. They'd have to play three more spells to level up Fizz. That's not that likely. Dang, that's the worst possible draw. Bow to no one. Shame that you pride over power. This is the the only card like the only card in our deck that does nothing. And it was our th it was our third frozen thrall, right? Because we had two like these two normally turn one, turn two. I'm always up for a round or two. All that glitters. The cold creeps in. Death, man, this is why I hate Burblefish. Like, these spells that it creates are always so good. Ah, uh, Death Ray. They always help so much whenever you're playing all these things like your Poro Cannons and your Rummages and everything like that. Even if they want to keep Burblefish costing zero mana, just... Just make it so it doesn't create spells, please. Please. I am superior life form. Why not save Averrozen? I'd rather draw a card than have the 2-1 in play. The, the value of the card in my deck is going to be much greater than that 2-1 in play. Because I have a lot of cards here that aren't very good. Yep, and I also need the spot on the board.
All right, so I guess I'm gonna. Oh, I don't have the mana for entomb. I need I need one more mana for entomb. So I guess it's flash freeze. I really want to entomb that. Let him think it's luck. Really want to entomb that. Yeah, with me having these three ones, that's a four four. We do know. So ordinary. We do know they have the the two mana deal two damage to something card. You know, Victor's Champion spell. They have that card. Oh no. Okay, they did not rummage it away. So that's that's what this card is. Now, do please do not level up to us if they. How much was the worst to see? Ugh. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. Because, like, imagine Burblefish didn't make the spell. They wouldn't have had that card to kill my 3-1, so then I would not have had to use the Troll Chant, so then therefore I would have had the mana for Entomb, and I could have either Entombed that 4-4 or Entombed the even Entombed the Twisted Fate. And then they wouldn't be making all these other spells either. I don't know why they kept playing stuff. I guess it just doesn't matter. Alright, 4 and 1 for our Frostbite deck. That double rummage was clutch. Okay, so there's a 4-1 for our three sisters meme tier deck. Um, pretty exciting. Yes, we lost to Twisted Fate Fizz in ranked, but come on, we're playing a we're playing a theme deck built around uh, playing all three sisters. We can't be too mad at that losing to, you know, one of the very best decks in the game. It was pretty awesome. That was that was a game like if we would have had Draclord Inquisitor on turn five, I think that we I think we probably win that game, right? Like if we could have got some eight eights on turn five that would have been incredible but still overall very very good showing um we played against a lot of decks that cared about combat and we just showed like how freljord can be awesome against those kind of decks with all of the different uh frostbite cards and everything the three sisters cards were really good getting us flash freeze or fury of the north most of the time um but yeah we had we had all three of our our um our champions out we leveled up Ash, I don't think we never actually leveled up Lissandra or Sejuani, but that's okay. We're definitely better at leveling up Ash than any of the other two. All right, but that's the three sisters. Pretty cool meme tier idea here. We even played it in a in Ancestral Boon for the first time. <laughs> it didn't really do anything. Um, we drew just an Ash when we already had an Ash in play for the top ally in our decks, and then we never played that second one, <laughs> so it didn't really do anything. But we actually cast this card, so that's cool. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well if you got any ideas for next week's 
meme tier Monday. Anything for me to write down, let me know. Um, and how are you enjoying these decks? Hopefully y'all are having fun with them too. All right, but that's it here for the three sisters. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.